Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. These are bi-weeklies. What you guys have just seen is the cleansing video that I have placed in the other channel. So if you guys like the way, you know, like that, you know, if you want to see the whole video, it's about coaching and stuff. So that's why I put it at Salviadora. And I also made a list that you can use in the channel for manifesting love, abundance, prosperity. So it's very helpful. So I do highly, highly Jenner suggest to check it out. It's gonna be there or in the description box also. So maybe here, they put it here. Okay. <laughs> so that you guys can click it because people are lazy <laughs> just to click. All right, so let's uh, begin here. Um, I changed the spread again as always because I like to change. <laughs> Um, we're gonna be looking at um, your side of the story, their side of the story, your opinion of the situation, and their opinion. And then, three things that is separating this connection. And then, in the extended, we'll see, you know, what the difficulty of working those separate, you know, things that separate the two of you. You understand me? So let's begin. I am mellow like a jello. This is my, this is my other persona, he's mellow, okay. If you guys don't know, here we go. Let's see from my Turinians. Let's see. Your side of the story. The tire I'm using is the borderless, so check it, it's in the description box. Mm. So, your side of the story here is that. Uh, You've been talking, texting more than ever, you know, when it started. Meaning, this per person brought you out of your comfort zone. You fell in love. Eight of Wands. Uh, you did things as far as like traveling to see them, moving forward, and really doing it because you felt like the universe was telling you, like, yes, this is the one. Because it's called to action. Road trips, flight, and moving forward, and you know, even though you guys are far from each other, you try to make it make it work. It's your story. And then, as this person, you know, as as you keep doing this, you know, things was moving fast, everything, you know, and this is something that you didn't expect, for you to fall in love fast, for you to do things out of the ordinary. Must be a special, special shop out, out of ordinary. Ace of Swords, communication. Mmm, okay. Sorry, I'm just looking at a snack. Okay, no, like a real snack. Okay. Eight of Wands, you know, Ace of Swords, communication. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Like what I told you texting, messaging, calling, you name it, FaceTime, you're up for it. Um, you were entertaining someone who um, I really feel like it's far from you. With the Ace of Swords, it looks like a visa, passport, or travel documents that you need uh, in order just to see them. You wanted things to move forward. You wanted to, things to really just, uh, you know, it's like, let's cut the crap. Let's, we can be moving in together. Let's, let's secure the relationship. Because the Eight of Wands is really head over heels. Now, the Ace of Swords right here, you see the, the, the crown. The crown is all about victory. So you want acknowledgement also that you are doing a lot for them. Head over heels, knees and toes, the lovers. It can be a Gemini, so you were in a younger, older relationship. I told you, you met them once, you fell in love. The lovers shows here, of course, past life connection, soulmate, and you really felt so drawn to them. Irresistible. Wonderful, amazing, intimate connection between the two of you. But for me, every time I see the lovers, you guys are separated right now. And that's where the problem is. You guys haven't been really um, talking or seeing each other. Let's see your opinion. Let's see your opinion. Page of Pentacles and the Judgment. They need to say sorry for what they've done. This is what your opinion of the situation. It reflects what you want from them. Judgment with the Page of Pentacles, you also don't want to hear another sorry. But that's what also you want to hear from them. A message that they want something long-term with you. Scorpio, reconciliation. I told you, you guys are in separation, so it's here. Your opinion is uh, of them 
is they made a mistake, then they have to clean up their own mess. Judgment here, um, it feels that you're pressuring them, can be. You're putting them in a difficult spot because this is the do or die. That's why the judgment is like going to the heaven. Either you're with me or you're not with me and that's it. All right, serious. There we go. Let's see their side of the story. They get the Knight of Swords and the Strength card. Their side of the story is they have showed their compassion to you. They've showed open communication. When you want to talk, they did talk to you. With the, with the Knight of Swords, of course, it is brash. They're mean. Strength card. They say that, no, I was trying really not even to be mean. But you find them hurtful. You also find them difficult to deal with. This Because the, their side of the story is they're forceful. They're being forced, sorry. They're being forced to communicate. And they did. And this is the part where they get mad angry with the Knight of Swords. Because the strength is you trying to open their mouth. And remember how you want communication talk, FaceTime call. I want us to have an open line of communication. They felt pressured by that. They got angry with that. They didn't like how things was moving too fast also. They felt like you were pushing them. May it be to be together in com uh, uh, commitment, but they felt like you were really, really pushing it. And their situation is like, you can't push me. Seven of Pentacles, you gotta wait. If I wanna talk to you, I'll talk to you. If I wanna communicate, I'll communicate. That's the Seven of Pentacles. They are showing that they are invested here. They, they, on their side of the story, it's like they're very much know that this relationship can move forward, but someone needs to be patient and it's looking like it's supposed to be you. Let's see there. Opinion. Mm -hmm. Their opinion is Hermit and the Page of Wands. You guys need some time out. No talk, no text, no call. Leave me alone. Hermit with the Page of Wands. That's why for you, it's like if you don't hear from them, then and so be it with the judgment. In their end, opinion, nope. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to talk about this. I don't even, you know, do the page of ones, you know, it's like if there's chemistry between the two of you, even though they think about it, it's not enough. Now let's see the top three, the three things that is separating this uh, connection. Number one is the magician. What's separating the two, uh, the two of you is the one who should make a move, which is who, who really makes a move. This is you. You made a move with the Ace of Swords. So, you made a move, the problem is they don't. So, as far as like separating, you keep doing this. This is what's separating the two of you. You keep manifesting it, and they keep making you wait. Second, the tower. What's separating the two of you? Of course, the breakup, the whole um, non-compromising and very unstable foundation of the relationship. That's what's separating the two of you. So clearly, with the tower here, separated, no contact right now. And that's also anger management. Um, someone could have a temper. The tower is about frustration. Um, with uh, this one, they also have the sharp words with the Knight of Swords. So what's separating the two of you is the way that they communicate. They can also be very, very insensitive. And for the last one, what's separating the two of you you have here three of ones, them dilly dally and just wondering, waiting for you to manifest the ace of ones. They want you not to communicate, but to flirt with them first. They will, um, they're open, because what's up, what, the three of ones, they're open to any kind of message for you, but not the serious talk. So they do not want, what separates the two of you is like, you want something serious, they're trying to see just the lighter side. They want to ease the situation. Okay? So. I'm going to continue this reading Taurus, link down there in the description box, in the extended. We'll see further the situation, different scenarios, so you can make a better judgment. Next to this is the extended too, if you guys didn't resonate with this one. Make sure you follow me on the other channel as I upload there every day. And also I share the secrets that I have for the mystics. I'll see you guys. Bye!
Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing your um, last two weeks of April, uh, 14 to 15 to the 31st. But it's the last two weeks, okay? Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's begin. I'm doing your um, you and the other person, not the marrying spread, okay? Here we go. Let's see what you guys have for me. Okay. Oh, for all your crystal needs, except crystal meth. We haven't come up with that one, a healthy mess. I'm kidding. <laughs> Check my website. <laughs> Everything I'm wearing for crystal stuff. Okay. Gems, gems, gems. Here we go, Taurus. Mars is in Taurus, okay. It's gonna go to Rohini, Nakshatra. Mm, very, very red. Okay, Nakshatra. Most favorite out of all the lunar, uh, lunar moon mansions. Here we go. Here we go. Lunar mansions. Lunar moon. Mm hmm. What is this? Pizza pie? <laughs> Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Shrimp scampi. <laughs> A few will get it. Here we go. Taurus. Let's begin. Mm, meditating. Yoga. Okay. Contemplating. Just thinking. So I'm just thinking about life recently. Where it has le led me. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm like this position. Table is far. Okay. Um, you, you're you trying to sort things out. You're probably trying to <laughs> look at my position. Yeah, <laughs> so it's that, that, that's the position. Okay, aligning your chakra, you know, trying to get your balance back. You know, this is like, you know, Stella trying to get her groove back, you know, after a breakup. Yeah, so you want to come out stronger if you just get recently come out from a heartache. Okay, aligning your thoughts also. This is more for constructive, like. You're trying, you're trying to do some sort of restoration with regards to your energy. Okay, here we go. Mm, hello. Someone's trying to make an offer while you meditate. What's that? <laughs> it's a message then. It's a pentacle. It's a message. You see that one? So you get expect someone to come towards you. You could be meeting a new person if you just if you just recently broke up with someone. Okay. Then here comes someone new, which is good. We all like it's a good new person. You yeah. know. And change that part of like a like your underwear. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. If they dirty, put them in the washer and forget them there. Okay. Then go to the next one that's clean. Okay. Because the Ace of Pentacles here, you want someone clean. You want a new beginning with someone. Walking into the light. Okay. And your name is not Caroline. It's good if it's a new person. If it's an old person, you're trying to make it work. Okay. Let me see. Next to the four, ooh, hello, king of wands, okay. This person has an in-your-face Iris energy, driven, you know. it's like they own the room, it's just like, oh my god, Sal, if you only met this person, they shake my knees and my knees just flip over my head, you know. A lot of sexual tension I feel here, four of swords, it's just like you're trying to calm your nerves, well, this daddy over here, or this is mama over here, mm -mm 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 -mm. you know, that's what I'm some of the kings. Ooh, hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like they're hot. Mm -hmm. They're chilly, they're habanero. That's what I say. Ah, are you multiple dating? <laughs> because why are two kings, Taurus? <laughs> are you a player? Mm -hmm. Aries got a player. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles. Maybe the Iris is the player. We don't know. But there's two people here. Can be juggling two uh, person. But if this is the person you're involved with, they want to put everything 100% just for you, Taurus. It's an offer. Ace of the King of Pentacles. That will turn around for me. 360 card. Meaning this person before was slow. Now they're all action. Mm -hmm. Someone's coming out. Can be an Aries coming out of the shadow. Can be a Capricorn also coming out of the shadow. Let me see. Hello, passion. The tower. Boom, 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 boom. That's what I say. Okay. The neighbor's gonna be complaining, Taurus. Okay. What's that loud noise? Um, it's none of your business. It's called making passion and love. Okay. You guys are so hot. You know, you can bake a cake just next to you guys, and it's just a batter. You know, that's what I say. Ooh, told me this person is hot. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, this is Mars, a Scorpio also. Mm, and Mars is aspecting your seventh house, you know, considering Mars is in Taurus. Whew! Ugh! Cat. Mm-hmm. 
It's almost like I feel like it's in the Caribbean. Mm, juicy! I love a good Caribbean. Yeah, Stella got her groove back. Taurus is back in the game. It's good, it's good. It's not a breakup. You're gonna be surprised that this person is sending you like passionate messages because it's aspect in your seventh, okay? Someone's very lustful, you know, because the tower is about, you know, mm -hmm, that, the climax. Considering the climax is here, it's Venusian also. Venus is semen. <laughs> so be careful. You don't want to get pregnant if you don't want to. This person gets the business done, okay? Ah, and the world card done. <laughs> older person can be. You can be the older person because Saturn is old. Mm -hmm. Serving you. Mm -hmm. The world card is long distance relationships. Sending you flirtatious messages. Okay, Making you feel that you are all Capricorn. The world card is a fixed sign also. Aquarius, Taurus, Sirius, Scorpio. It's not a fixed sign that you're dealing with. They're fixed with what they do. Okay, Because you can't deal with four people. Because I don't know what's your life if you have four people. Okay? That was called when I was, you know, younger. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll go to that stage. Seven, if I was to correct you. <laughs> the tower with the world card. Um, Someone's making an announcement. They finish, they finish something. The world card is about, uh, I'm done with this one. And then if, if they're doing something with chapter with their life, they're done with that one. And then it's about you. It's like, you're next. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they're not multiple dating. It's almost like, if this is you or the other person, it's like they finish something and then now they're ready for a relationship because it's a king, right? And I feel like you're just really the four of swords. You're just waiting for your king to arrive or your queen and they're arriving and it's fails. Mars is going to get it done, okay? This is a very, very um, good transit for you guys as far as like Mars is in, in your house. So it's, but it's making you also move at the same time because it's aspect, okay? So one seven is going to look at each other and remember, your seventh house is ruled by uh, Mars, so it's um, I feel it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, astrology is called distri uh, or something like that. When it's looking at it from its natural lord, so the natural lord is looking at the seventh house. You understand me? I feel like it's called distri, but I forgot my tongue is twisted, so it's not okay. Okay, but I can't I can't remember how it's called. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to continue this reading as the movement, because remember, Saturn is also slow. The slow um, energy is done, and the tower is here, so it's all going to be moving forward, alrighty? So, thank you very much, Charles, for watching. Link down there in the description box. We'll see more of your situation, possible outcome, if it's going to work out, how they feel towards you, learn lessons, okay? Um, gaze, gaze. Drishti. Drishti. Sorry, okay? Because it's just like I ate hot soup and now I'm like this. Okay. So drishti. It's a looking, gazing. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading. Let's find out more. More of the details. More of the juices. Because we all know we want a good, some juicy, juicy, like a king like this. It's just too much work. Ten of Wands. Um, even for you to start all over with this person. Too much. You want to take care of it. With a star card. Well, I told you. You're the one who's always manifesting it. I told you. The star card, as about exactly. time, meaning take it a little bit lightly. They like it when things are just going easy and flowing, not like too serious.